Hi, this is Jana and Josh from Our Star So Far, and this is our CTFX Cinema review of Adaptation. This movie was extremely confusing. I'm going to try to give you the fastest recap of the whole movie. So Charlie Kaufman, you know, decides that he has to write this uh, movie about this book, but the book is not that really great. It's like it lacks narrative to even have a film about. So then he ends up getting writer's block. And then he, just, he creates this brother character, this fictional character of a twin brother, which is really, really weird. I know. It's like every other movie that's like, like, soap opera. And then his brother goes to these screenwriting seminars because he's like, I want to be a screenwriter too. And then his brother like makes this awesome movie and everything like that. And he's all like, why can you make movie and I can't make crap? So then he decides that he wants to go find the lady that wrote the book well, and go to New York. Well, when he's in New York, he decides to go to the seminars, the same ones that his brother went to because he's just like, this is ridiculous, I can't handle this. So he brings his brother out as well to try to help him because his brother just sold the movie for $600,000. He can't go talk to the lady because he has like crazy people issues. So he sends his brother to talk to the lady. His brother's like, this lady's lying. So then they go spy on her and then they see that she's doing the orchid flower as a drug with this, with the guy who was like, th like stealing the orchid flower. And then they catch them spying on them. So they're like, oh, let's go to the swamp. Look, we're going to get killed. And then they end up escaping. So then, as they sleep overnight, they come together as brothers. So when they wake up the next morning, they try to sneak away, but the orchid thief shoots his brother in the arm, and they get in the car and they drive away, but like two minutes down the road, they get into a car accident, Donald flies out the window because he's not wearing a seatbelt, <laughs> and then they're just like, oh crap, oh crap, so then Charlie's just like, as like the orchid thief and the lady are coming, he's like, oh, I gotta get going, so then he runs into a swamp, the orchid thief... Um, it's about to shoot him, but then he gets bitten by an alligator, like Captain Hook style. <laughs> so then, after that, then they finally get out of the swamp, and the lady gets arrested because she's all, like, crazy, and then he finishes the movie, and it ends with him doing a voiceover, saying that he finished the movie, and what the movie's actually about is of him having writer's block, and trying to write the movie, and that's what the movie is about. Which is kind of ridiculous, because that's what this movie's about. It's like a movie inside a movie inside a movie. <laughs> yeah. It was really kind of confusing, like, when I read the, when we read the thing for the movie, we were like, oh, it's gonna be a good movie. We weren't prepared for the complexity of this plot, like how no. it kind of blew our minds. Pretty sure I saw a baby director. being born at some point, <laughs> and I don't know why because I was not focused at that moment, and it was bad. Another funny thing about this movie was at the end where he was like, "I want Gerard de Pado or Day." I'm gonna butcher his French, that French last guy. Name. I like how he announces how he wants that Gerard to um, play him in the movie. So this is the guy that peed on an airplane in the middle of a flight when he was drunk. So that guy is pretty cool. <laughs> Not really. So rating time. I'm gonna give it a six. I'll go, I'll go with you in the six. I liked how it was very like, it was out of the box. It wasn't just like a regular movie. But I mean the plot was a little, yeah. little confusing. Like we did end up looking up on Wikipedia just to get a little more gist of it. Because we think we missed like little things. Yeah. But. I gave you like a straight like we didn't go back and forth of the recap of the movie because I feel like if we would have went back and forth of trying to talk about the movie, it would have just been more yeah. confusing than it was already. I bet if we watched the movie again though, it would make more sense. Like yeah. it's one of those movies that you're gonna watch like a few times and you'd be like, Oh, okay, oh okay, I get it. So we'll see you guys next time on CTFX Cinema Review. Bye.